Today marks the first day of the rest of our life together. We are entering into marriage together with parts of ourselves that Jesus wants to trim. We each have rough edges and impurities that he will extract from us. He will, using each other, trim the old and bring together the new. I spend you an answer to prayer. You push me to seek truth from the word. You inspire me to love hard, and most of all, you're a man of God. You serve without complaining and do everything with a humble heart. I'm overjoyed to be your wife. Friends and family, Espen and McKenna, allow me to pause and remind us that today is not just another ceremony or social get-together. Today we worship because God has richly and graciously provided for this bride and this group. Marriage is God's design, and He has given it to us as a gift to enjoy. Today, Espen and McKenna, you step into this gift. I can't wait to see where the Lord takes us and how He will use each other to bring us closer to Him. I can't wait to come to more and more of the understanding that I'll never know you perfectly because the Lord made you to be continually pursued. This is what I look forward to the most, continuing to get to know you, to be a student of you, and to serve you where you are. I can't wait to, in a way, gain my life by losing it. By this I mean that I can't wait to give up my wants and needs to meet your wants and needs. You're my love, my sweetie, and the one for me. The Lord has been so faithful throughout our entire relationship, and I'm so eager to see what He continues to do in us. Ephesians 4.2 says, Be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. I love you, Espen. I cannot wait to be Mrs. Evenson. So Espen and McKenna, I now declare you to be husband and wife. What God has joined together, <laughs> let no man separate. And so Espen, you may kiss your bride. So ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Evenson. One thing to know about Kenna is that she has the gift of seeing things as they are and she will protect her people if something or someone will hurt them. Espen, you're the perfect compliment to McKenna. I can see how much you love her, but more importantly, I've been able to witness your love for Jesus. And because of that, I know you'll be the best husband for her. Oh, I never, never thought I could get the chance to be here with you. Too crazy fools to left feet, step by step, heartbeat.
also you're a wisdom seeker. You're intentional about seeking wisdom at its source, whether it being in your walk with God, learning what it's like to be like a, to be a good husband, or your academic or career pursuits. You're humble enough to know that there are others with experience or knowledge you don't have, and you seek them out so that you may learn and be more equipped. Just take some time, little by little, yeah, we'll get it right. Oh, I love extremely intentional with anyone and everyone. With that, over the past nine years, I've learned so much from you, buddy. I know I've told you these things many times, but you've been a huge influence on me. I love you guys, and I look forward to seeing what the Lord has got in store for your future.